Welcome back now to Primetime Sports Sunday. Ireland held on for a two-wicket victory and a historic 2-1 series triumph over the West Indies following the third and deciding encounter at Sabina Park today, a one-day international, of course. After losing a third successive toss, the Caribbean side got off to a good start after being sent to bat. It was 72 for one when Shea Hope fell to Craig Young for 53. Justin Graves was next to go, dismissed by the same bowler for a 31 ball 12. Wickets fell regularly thereafter with Nicholas Puran falling for two, Shamar Brooks for one and Captain Karen Pollard for three. When Roston Chase fell for 19, it was 101 for six and 200 runs looked like a fair distance away. Jason Holder's lower order 44 steadied the innings with cameos of 23 and 20 not out from Akil Hussain and Dean Smith to push the West Indies to 212 all out. The Irish couldn't have made a worse start, losing William Porterfield first ball. Standing captain Paul Sterling and Andy McBride combined to put on 73 for the second wicket. McBride fell for a top score of 59 and Sterling 44. But at 152 for three, the Irish were cruising. The loss of Neil Rock and Curtis Camphor caused slight concern for Ireland at 197 for six, but they were still massive favourites. But young Harry Tector inexplicably attempted a reverse sweep on 52 to fall LBW to chase. That triggered the dismissals of George Dockwell and Gareth Delaney in quick succession to leave Ireland 208 for 8 and the West Indies with a glimmer of hope. But Craig Young hit the winning boundary in the 45th over to hand Ireland a first ever series win over the Windies. I think it's a sad day. It's a sad day, you know, for us. It's a sad day for West Indies cricket overall. Um, obviously, you know, as players, you know, we, we take responsibility. You know, as a leader of the team, I take responsibility for, you know, performance, you know, on the field. Um, and it's very, very disappointing. It's a, it's a bitter pill to swallow. But, you know, having said that, I think, you know, overall, when you look back, as I said, in the last, the latter part of 2021 and, you know, throughout 2021 into 22, I think, you know, overall, I think we have a sort of a batting problem in the Caribbean and getting runs on the board. And we can't hide from that. The quality, you know, we have, you know, we're trying to work with, you know, what we have, you know, available with us. But in all honesty, I don't think we have been up to standard, you know, within the last few months. Andy McBride was named player of the series. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a nice bit of spinning in there for me. I've just changed up my lengths and trying to keep it as simple as possible and try and force them to make mistakes and happen, find what happened the last three games. The wind is now turned their attention to their first T20 against England beginning on Saturday in Barbados.